fire signs welcome back to the channel it's me OU here with a another tarot card reading for you today we already got jumpers yo we're using the light seers tarot deck to pull in some messages from the universe to see what your ancestors your guides have to say let's get some advice some motivation see what the therapeutic session is right you always went to big mama huh? big mama from the uh the hulu tarot deck right to get some enlightenment the sun card to make you feel better, right? Offer you a nice plate of cornbread. Here goes some cookies and milk. Make you feel better. <laughs> Band-aid. But yeah, we're going to get into it today. See what energies are currently surrounding you. What's coming towards you. Um, yeah, and what the universe has in store. Like and subscribe to the channel so that the message continues to grow. Continues to spread. A few more shuffles. We'll get into your reading. Yeah, man. Good day today so far. The shamanism is kicking in heavy. All types of bugs and animals and reptiles want to communicate with me today. <laughs> All right. So. There we go with the crows. We got uh, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, it was a black crow. Well, crows are usually black, right? We got the black horse or the black sheep of the family. I'm getting a something about a, prof, a professional or a pro athlete here. You do know, um, hmm, I'm, I got to stop getting so political. Huh. But the Knight of Wands is a, they pretty much know what they want. Unlike a page that's very curious, the Knight has had some sort of an experience they're in pursuit of their goals and ideas, their wishes, their passions, their dreams. They're in a creative mind state as well, wanting to express themselves. This is like a um, someone in college or something like that, or graduating college here. Some sort of a celebration, maybe, could be. What's flown out, uh, out of the, uh, the deck, though? Ooh, the we got the hangman and the ten of wands. Yeah, graduation, getting out of school here, getting out of college, uh, relocating here. This could be a hang-up, though. This could even be homelessness as well, the hang woman with the Ten of Wands. This is like refugees here. This is, I'm getting no soliciting. I'm getting no loitering as well. Damn. So someone has been removed from a situation here. Hmm. Or someone's spirit, spirituality is being tested. In, yeah. This is These are candles. This is worship here. This is your uh, spiritual system or your spiritual base here. Someone's testing you. The hangman could be looked at as, um, you know, actual noose around your neck. Could be looked at as death, experiencing um, like flashback moments or highlights or something like that, or trying to envision a way out of a situation here. And then the ten of wands, and then the ace of swords, seeking a renewal here, a freedom of thought. She's even headless here after being uh, in the hangman position. So losing your head or losing your train of thought. We're switching from one state of mind or idea to the next. Hmm. I mean, when there is an ending, there's a beginning here. Ten of Wands and an Ace of Swords comes out. This is after some sort of a death here with the Hangman. Now, I never really pick up with uh, death with the Hangman, but that is Pisces. And Pisces is, is about sacrifice to the highest degree, self-sacrifice. That's why they're in the Hangman state. We even have doctors that initiate deaths uh, if people don't want to go through death naturally or they're in some sort of a disease, have some sort of a health sickness. Okay, this is a lobotomy with the Ace of Swords. They're able to, or an injection here, they're able to deliver a, a lethal injection, a painless lethal injection as well. So, okay, this could be retirement. This could be old age. This could be some sort of a temperance here, earth angel, some sort of a disease. Or sickness, a plague, maybe even. Okay, where are you at this time? Okay. But Sagittarius energy here. This is a great spiritual lesson. Yeah, this is a passing over. Both Pisces and Sagittarius energy in the hangman 
which I'm picking up as Death, ca uh, cap mm, Cancer, Scorpio, and uh, Pisces energy. And then we have the Temperance, Sagittarius. Some sort of a journey, or again, some sort of a life lesson. You even see the angel wings behind them. Now, the only thing we need to figure out is if this person has any, any regrets, or if they lived a decent life here. We have Knight of Pentacles, so I'm getting the proof is in the pudding. It's when their relationships and the things that they've invested in and partaken in in life. This could even be a heartbeat as well. So you could be literally watching someone pass or die here. This has to be some sort of a child at their parents' deathbed or something like that. Or this could be vice versa. The parent at their child's deathbed here. There could be some sort of an inheritance or some sort of an insurance. The emperor. Hmm. Some sort of a divine masculine, some sort of a CEO, a leader. Now, if the empress is seen, looked at as a mother, the, uh, the, uh, the emperor has to be looked at as a father, right? Therefore, he creates a kingdom. He creates a chessboard. Pawns, rooks, knights, queens. This is his community of people here. So, we have some sort of a community leader here. Okay, what? Eight of Cups. Yeah, definitely trying to resolve some sort of a situation. This could be emotional or sexual abuse here. Walking away emotionally here or being triggered. Coming right on top of the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Divorce, maybe. Receiving some sort of a divorce settlement after some sort of a div uh, uh, an abuse here. Or, I'm not sure if it has anything to do with marriage, but receiving some sort of a reparation here. So we have college students graduating. <laughs> we got eight of wands. Hmm. On top of the temperance here. So a celebrity is traveling towards you, or they're frequenting, frequenting you, or vacating uh, towards you. So maybe you could be watched by celebrities here, or you could be rubbing or bumping shoulders with uh, very important people here. I'm also have, getting that someone has a um, an empathic ability, like those in The Shining. I'm about to start calling it uh, The Shining. Someone has a shining ability here, like uh, Bruce Willis in that movie. Um, and that movie, um, what is it, Unbreakable? Yeah, unbreakable. Where where he would touch someone, or he would pass by them, and he would be able to see the the sins that they've uh, that they've manifested. There's also another movie as well. It's kind of like not really a horror, but it's a psychological thriller with Matthew McConaughey earlier in his career. It's called Frailty, with two brothers whose father was convinced that he was doing God's work. And then there was something else I wanted to mention, but I'm guessing that's it. What do you have for the fire signs? You're actually standing in your energy here with the Emperor, so I'm glad you showed up. Yeah, Knight of Wands, and then the Emperor shows up here, being very creative and being very active. We could be dealing with a content creator because Knight of Swords comes up, some sort of an editor. Now I am getting a vocalist here. Ooh, I'm getting a compass for whatever reason, so someone's creating some sort of a map or a wayfinder here or something like that. Maybe a travel vlog or a destination, best destinations or something like that. Yeah, the Eight of Wands, travel. Parties, festivities, uh, investing as well, okay. There's a lot of traveling here. Eight of Cups energy, Knight of Pentacles in, uh, energy. Uh, what else we have? Eight of Wands energy. Ten of... So this could be like overseas traveling or something like that, uh, a migration. 
<laughs> travel business even we have six of pentacles yeah reciprocation some sort of a uh, travel business you pay this and I provide this sort of a service for you here this could be also charity or donations getting also philanthropy as well Ooh, six and six we get the six of pentacles and six of wands so a great philanthropist or, or something like that again I'm getting some sort of a community leader here there's definitely travel six of wands is travel as well here so yeah I guess this could be some sort of a thought provoker or a motivational speaker here Two of Wands, yeah, this is prospecting here. Taking a look at a travel guide or setting your sights, looking out the window, seeing where you want to go next here. The Globe, we even have the van here, the Scooby vehicle, the travel. I even said Scooby vehicle, so that's the mystery machine, right? They were a group of kids that were running around solving mysteries, so you're trying to figure out where you want to go to next or where you want to travel. This could be figuring out yourself as well. The thing about a lot of things is um, you can look at it from either end. Some people start at the bottom. Some people start at the top when developing a, some sort of a foundation. Um, <laughs> it's very it's very interesting. I'm getting like Batman and Joker here. Lost my train of thought. But what we got here, we got the King of Pentacles. So multiple kings coming out here. King of Pentacles is a very stable individual. Could be looked at as an investor, an entrepreneur, some sort of a boss, right? Uh, okay, I'm getting someone that likes to eat well. Like you got rich sex. This person likes to eat rich. <laughs> I'm getting, he likes, okay. Did someone make a song like this? They like to put gold on their food? Oh, the Dave Chappelle skit. Yeah, he uh, likes, <laughs> He likes to sprinkle diamonds on his in his food so that he <laughs> that he craps diamonds. <laughs> what did I also did I mention something about Jurassic World in this video or the last video? Yeah, he also uh, had a dinosaur egg in that same commercial. This is like MTV Cribs. So what is going on in this reading? Yeah, I'm getting movement, relocation, travel, students graduating. So again, that could be moving off campus or something like that. Three of Pentacles, roomies. Yeah. Your roommates. Okay, yeah, so someone needs to visit Dave Chappelle. If you ever have, have miss, any misunderstanding, and the, and the more you watch people, the more you can kind of tell their personalities. So if you kind of want to um, understand people's thought processes, and this is why they're celebrities, and this is why you they're unique, and this is why people will pay hundreds of millions of dollars to see their content, whether it's triggering or not. You go and watch these people things and you see their minds and their thought processes and, and the things that they put their energy into. We have Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going back to the beginning of someone's career here. Yep. Some sort of a, uh, I usually would say prodigy, but this could be an, uh, an amateur here. Usually we have onlookers and spectators that can't believe what this young individual or this uh, immature or amateur person is doing. They're even trying to hurl usually either insults or some sort of an encouragement. But they make it look like they're working together here. But there, this could people uh, in this particular tarot deck. But this could also be looked at as people trying to look down on someone's situation. Well, that's the story of Jesus Christ, right? Um, what do we have here? We have lots and lots to discuss here. Nine of Wands energy. So someone, this is like breakout success. We got the hangman here. We got temperance, very spiritual energy. So this could be a spiritual business or again, someone's breaking out of societal norms, spiritual systems that uh, held them back, the hangman position. Then we also got the emperor, so taking, grabbing um, the world by its horns here. You see the horned skull in the background. Being the leader uh, or being the controller of your own destiny. Again, it's about systems of control here. 
And that's all we have for the Major Arcana. Hmm. Someone's in a state of development at this time. This could be like a, a cocoon stage, like how a butterfly or a caterpillar goes through a chrysalis stage. Someone could be practicing yoga and meditating as well. Maybe thinking about or contemplating seeking out therapy. You're wise enough to practice your own discernment, even practice rituals. These are daily affirmations. Chores are rituals. Rituals are chores. Again, these are just daily habits. Just like we breathe without even thinking about it. At some point, there are some things that you do, habits and uh, things that you develop in life that you don't even think twice about. At this point, as a man, cooking is one of the easiest things in the world to me. So unlike other men and most women of my generation and younger women of the society nowadays that don't know how to cook, it's the funniest shit in the world. Temperance, the earth angel is literally a cook. <laughs> She's literally reaching down, adding seasoning to some sort of um, tapestry here. But yeah, three is about creation here with three major arcana. We got the six of pentacles. We have the six of wands. Someone paying you for being a celebrity or for 15 minutes of fame or um, maybe traveling some sort of a pursuit. We also get 10 of wands and 10 of pentacles. So yeah, traveling in order to obtain your abundance here. Now again, this could be attaining a new home or something like that. Maybe trying to upgrade. What else we got? We have two kings come out. So this could be collaboration here. Again, business, signing documents, contracts, and that sort of thing could be drafting or architecture here maybe a teacher or a lecturer here could be a little bit of directing here a director a producer he's holding the pinnacle he's holding the sword or the pen yeah some sort of a collaboration 33 ace of swords here An opportunity to create something now this could be a book a movie some sort of a journal an idea it could be a website could uh, have something to do with money here with the knight of pentacles coming up here the only other court card investing uh making great business deals and networking along the way this is like uh going to this is like someone that go okay this is a very high position so this is almost like huh, i'm not even gonna bring up people but this is like someone, almost like a um, an image consultant for a company. They come in, bring fresh and new ideas, and then they move on to the next. I'm almost getting like that movie, um, the movie Pulp Fiction, Quentin Tarantino in the 90s. Uh, the Wolf, uh, when Samuel Jackson and John Travolta actually killed the back, the black guy in the back in the backseat. Spoilers. Um, and then they had to call the wolf, someone that was experienced and that solved problems. A boss, king of pentacles, a leader, divine masculine, a problem solver, a script writer, or someone, I always talk about king of pentacles as someone that breaks the rules or bends the rules. Not necessarily law, but rules, guidelines, that sort of thing. Yeah, very interesting. Very spiritual, though, here. This could be some sort of a concert as well. Because this is a ritual. But where you find two or more people is where you will find God. And then you get everyone on, on sync during one thing. That's a giant ritual. Uh, but uh, that's what I have for you here today, uh, Fire Signs. Make sure you like and subscribe, uh, add value to the channel. Check out the other readings on the channel as well. Your moon, your rising sign, Venus, all that good stuff. Wherever you have major aspects. Um, catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.